Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. In today's video, we'll take a look at the physics solver that exists in Motion Builder and create rigid body simulations. And if you want to learn something amazing today, step right in and let's get started. So directly here we have Motion Builder open and Motion Builder 2019 to be precise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to this section called Template and element so within the element section is where you're going to find auxiliary tools that you need in motion builder so things like your camera null object handle and some primitives if you want to find more primitives you need to press the plus button and you're going to find them directly here so let's get started with this i'm going to drag in this simple sphere all right and i'm going to scale this sphere a little bit high and i'm going to raise this all the way up so we're going to go through a very simple example and i think for this we could actually drop in um let's drop in this cube and let's also go ahead and scale this cube all right so i'm just scaling this cube all the way up so we're just using very basic primitives and then we should be able to start up so next thing which i need to do go over to solver click drag drop and then we can go ahead go over to this section where we have the physics and i'm going to simply select the rigid body i'm dropping one rigid body here and i'm dropping another rigid body directly there so with these two set in place if we come over to this section and actually click on solvers double click i'm going to turn this online on so if the online is turned on it simply means that motion builder is ready to start working with the solver which is the physics solver that exists so it's also good to bear in mind that this particular physics solver that we have has two other solvers that it makes use of we'll talk about that in a later video when we have to do the clutch simulation so if you guys want to know about the physics x which is what you can find here put it in the comment section and i'm also going to do a video in that regards all right so with this here if i go ahead and turn on live you can see we have you know a rigid body simulation happening but then how can we control this how can we actually you know make this happen how can we allow this to work with our own given animation all right so we're going to talk about that real quick next thing which you need to know is if you want to reset this to the previous state which it was you need to make sure that this is turned on and you have to click on the word reset to start okay if this is not turned on all right if it is not turned on by any chance what would happen is this just very simple what will happen is this that none of this thing is going to work so you may not be able so i'm just going to go ahead and do this all right and turn this off and if i click this you see nothing happens okay so you would actually lose what it looks like for your file to be in the start position or in the in, in the position where it was supposed to be before the simulation happens so my big advice for you now is if you have the points where you want these things to be maybe you can go a bit lower like minus one and you can add a keyframe to save this in position okay so we're going to also talk about animation real quick so you guys can have a good understanding about how these things work all right so this is done next thing which you need to know is let me see if i can drag in a seat i think there is a model which i got so i'm just going to go ahead and drag in this model directly here it's an fbx so i'm going to say fbx merge no animation okay so we have this here i'm just going to also frame in on this press f on your keyboard to frame and if you're wondering how it's easy for me to move around the ui it's because i'm making use of the maya interaction mode you can set yours by clicking on settings interaction mode and you can set it to maya just a quick tip if you hold down alt on your keyboard with your right mouse button you can zoom in and zoom out with your alt still selected left mouse button you can pan around your scene and with the alt selected and left mouse button you can rotate okay so right mouse middle mouse left mouse so you can walk a bit more faster like that cool so next thing which you need to do is select this and then let's just go ahead and scale this down and position this somewhere like here so what we want to do is we want to make this object travel from here so it travels all the way to this point directly to the middle of this object directly to the middle of this object and it falls so let's just go ahead and you know position this and make sure we have it where we want it to be in our scene another good way to actually look at your scene how your positioning is is you can choose to make about three different planes so you can see things from different points in time you can also turn this down or turn it up depending on how much room space you want while working on your scene so i'm going to simply use this and 
you know i'm going to simply use this to do the simple animation so other things you need to know is by default once you get this thing active your grid becomes your floor all right your grid becomes your floor so if you want to add a custom floor let's say you're doing a building simulation or you're trying to you know do something like this and you need a floor you what you can do is you can go over to primitive throughout this particular plane or throughout any plane or use any geometry actually and i'm going to go ahead and scale this all the way up directly here then the next thing i'm going to do is go over to this solver physics solver and with this not active i can now select the plane to be my ground plane okay so now this becomes a ground plane other ways you can do this is by simply coming here click this drag and drop so you can now have that to be the ground plane okay so that is how you can do that so with this being the ground plane you don't need okay so you don't need to actually go here and start adding this you don't need to do that okay so now we're done setting the ground plane let's go ahead and continue with animating this so our animation is this uh object travels here and then the physics solver automatically happens from this point okay so let's go ahead and keyframe this so the first things which you need to do is we're still having our base animation so that's a good way to start i'm going to come here and add the first key which is going to be on frame zero and the next thing which i need to do let's travel all the way to 24 and we're going to allow this happen here and i'm going to add another key so if you slide this you will notice that you have your animation happening there now how do we trigger this so another thing you need to note is for each of these things to get triggered you need to actually activate them here so we have the first one i'm also i'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this so we can have something really really decent to work with and I'm coming back here so I'm clicking and I'm dragging on top of this and I'm clicking and dragging on top of that okay so this particular one I want it to be active only when an object has a collision with it so I'm going to say active at collision all right so it's only going to be active at collision for this other one I want it to be active all the time okay so I'm also going to turn it to active now if you don't want anything to be active within a given space or you don't want it to be active at all you need to turn on passive okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to 25 remember our animation stops at 24 so i'm going to come over to 25 and within this section where i have active for the ball let's make sure that this is for the ball so let's rename this so we don't have issues so i'm just going to call this ball i'm going to keyframe this all right at 25 then at 24 i want this to be a passive object and i'm also going to go ahead and keyframe this this on the other hand which is the seat so i'm going to rename this and call this seat or chair i want this to only be active so you make sure you have this double clicked before you can set anything i'm all going to make this active at collision all right so i want it to be active at collision so with this done if i come over here and turn on the physics and let's just set this to be the start state. So I'm just going to select this and set this to be the start state of all of them. I'm going to go ahead and turn on live. So see what's going to happen. So if I turn on live, you notice nothing is happening, right? But if I press the playback animation, you see this happens and then you can see that happens there. Let's actually switch this to a single view so you guys can see what's going on. I'm just going to select this and push it all the way back reset this to what it is and let's see what it looks like again okay so i'm just gonna mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna go ahead and press the playback button or you can hold down the control key and press the up button to get your animation happening so you can see that our animation is playing back perfectly fine so if you want to create things this is the basic ways that you can use to create animations that are being driven by you know physics and rigid body directly here in motion builder if you want me to cover topics like how you can do rag dolls how you can create clots how you can create things like uh, soft bodies tell me about this in the comment section and i will do these videos for you guys and if you learned something in this video go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification if you want to learn more things about motion builder visit firat tuzunkan's page where he has a beginners to advanced level tutorials on how you can get good with motion builder and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace